guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 5 of season 2 of Zombieland Saga, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. What the f- <laughs> Yeah, cuz Lily, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Cool. Like America's Got Talent? Oh. Mm, you're right! Play baby, he wasn't really needed. <laughs> that is so mean, though. But it, it, it's true because Lily thought that, thought of that ap uh, episode idea all on her own. It just makes you wonder how it's gonna go. But Lily got this. Best child. Oh. You got this, baby. Of course. Mm 
Mm -hmm. I'm guessing he's the one that possibly might win this. He cute though. Maybe he wants to go into singing. Excuse me? Oh. oh, this kid a little shit. It's a privileged child. Last week we had a privileged idol. Now we got a privileged child actor. I mean, <laughs> Jesus. What the fuck? Yeah, what did you think it was going to be? <laughs> He's a little shit, too. You know what? No, you know what? He need his ass whooped. I mean, you know, we could probably all agree on that, right? Right? Oh my god. No. It, it would have been so much better if they had Mamaru sing this guitar. <laughs> Cause you, your girl would have been up there like, yes, thank you. You got this little.
Yeah, I don't like this kid. Of course. Where are you, Cuddy? Come here. It's okay. Lily's got this. Right here. Well, you will, but... You know who he kind of sounds like? Listening to the say He kind of sounds like Conan. From Detective Conan. Very, like, hella... Mm. That was the song you were gonna think. This little bastard! Yeah, because they can't sing the same song!
Something tells me she made a flag. Or that. If not a flag, maybe a shawl. We'll see when she performs, but I'm really anxious to see what the heck she's going to do. She just. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the child just did a cute little nap. Oh my god! Oh! And she don't win! <laughs> Number six. Number six. Are you fucking kidding me? This some bullshit. Did the audience even get the vote? Did it was everyone at home? Did they get the vote? We, we need to recount some bullshit. Mm mm. You know she was better than you.
You cutie, but you're still a little shit. Honestly, like hearing Lily sing this song, she she gives me major feels to Hello Happy World from Bendity. And then maybe a little bit of lyrical Lily and Happy Around from D4DJ, but mainly straight up Hello Happy World. I mean, in a way, like, okay, when you think of Lily and thinking about each girl individually, everyone has their target audience, quote unquote. And, um,. Hello Happy World to me for the series like it seems like their main target is little kids but they do there are a, a lot of teenagers and adults who like some really happy cheerful upbeat music and Lily is like an embody of that like 100% like oh my god like not even 100% a thousand percent same thing with like the happy around comparison to the lyrical Lily comparison they have happy upbeat music and they just want to spread the cheer and happiness to their fans, followers, whoever, in their distinct groups and everything. Unlike, you know, like my personal favorite groups from D4DJ, M Bang Dream, Rosalia, Mermaid, and Rondo, it's about um, also, you know, telling a story with their favorite bands and with your favorite bands and to their audience and everything, but having really good upbeat music that you were like, damn. This might, this song so damn good, it might be playing at a damn club. Or, you know, you're at a party and you hear it and you just want to mm, jam. Mm, God, now I feel like playing D with DJ. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. First we had to curl lose her body. <laughs> and now Tay lost her head with the fuck going on but yeah I mean Lily even singing the song like you just I think a lot of people when they watched this episode and when they got to the episode of where she performed everybody felt happy and upbeat and such and so it's not a bad thing that I'm comparing her to those three units it's just that's what when you when you listen to like really any happy around song um any lyrical Lily song or any hello happy world song from the distinct units you feel happy i don't I like see now thinking about it a little bit like I, I don't know really more on like lyrical lily because i mean the last their their first two three songs that came out a while ago because i know their second ep is coming out in a couple of months um it was about cats uh, unless you really really love cats and you are a cat person yeah you're gonna love that um excuse me but uh like if you're listening to happy around or especially Hello Happy World. Those those songs, like, I have a couple of fave songs from both groups. But, like like I said, they're not my, like, distinct group. Like, playing both games, those are the cards. Like, cards are the best girls that I'm getting. Like I said, mine are Rosalia, Rondo, and Mermaid and such. And those are the girls that I'm always, like, trying to get cards for no matter what. But, like, honestly, this her rendition of the song using an orchestral performance and just taking it to the next level was a little bit better than Light Coons. I understand why Light won and such, but at the same time, it's like, damn, y'all couldn't let Lily win? Like, y'all couldn't give me one episode where these children, where this group fucking wins. Technically, you know, they've had it. Last week, they got their win. And y'all couldn't give me another week? We could have got two weeks of, you know, wins, but nah, 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 nah. I just think, you know, so I mean, in a way, she did get a win because of the fact is the song and the dance and the little girl who was doing the dance on YouTube, quote unquote, it got viral and to the point where everybody was doing stuff, whether it was little kids, teenagers, adults, whoever, everybody was doing it. Hell, I'm not even surprised. I'm surprised that um they didn't do anything like, you know, <laughs> because uh, 
with us, our, our big thing that everyone is currently on a lot is TikTok. I was, like, going to say, okay, are we going to see something, like, a little bit of TikTok? But who knows how far when the production of this second season was, how popular TikTok was. Because, I mean, yeah, TikTok is still, is very, very popular. Everyone goes on there. I know I fucking do. But, um... It would have been nice. And it, it it could still be, they could do still a reference for it. And it may not be in the next few episodes. It could be somewhere soon. I'm guessing there's probably going to be a lot of other shows that are going to kind of do something like it. Because since, like I said, TikTok is hella popular, you're going to start seeing it in anime and stuff because it's now the norm and everything. But yeah, I mean, seriously, Lily did a damn good job. I, honestly, she should have won, in my opinion. But no, you had to give it to Light. Who kind of sounds like Conan and Agawa. You know what? I'm going to look that shit up because, ooh, if that is his her, his seiyu, that is really interesting. Like, damn, I, I would have been like, mm, y'all really got this shit. Ooh. But honestly, this is a really good episode. It makes me really excited for next week and how the hell, like, what the hell happened to the point where Tay got her head popped off? I mean, it seemed like the girl on the left tripped. But, you know, we ain't gonna know it till we get there. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 5 of season 2 of Zombieland Saga. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on next Thursday for episode 6. Bye, guys!